Hey everyone, Tony from TN3 Studio and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be sharing with you a solution around managing high quality 3D models inside SketchUp. One of the downsides to SketchUp 2023 and under is how poorly it manages high quality 3D models in your scene. And as you know, high quality 3D models are pretty high in file size. And if not managed properly, it can cause slow and lagging SketchUp performance. And that is worse, crashing corruptive file. So we are going to use Skimp to help manage this part of the workflow. Skimp is a very reliable, fast 3D importer, as well as a polygon reducer arguably one of the best extensions to perform this task and you can import from most of the commonly used 3d formats such as fbx 3ds and obj and on top of that it lets you preview and optimize your model before and after you import into your scene so to download Skimp, head over to MindSightStudios.com. The link will be in the description. Here you can read up a lot more about this extension. I recommend signing up for a free trial. And when you're ready to make the investment, go ahead and get your license using the links in the description. Now, when you download the extension, go ahead and save the RBZ file on your computer. You will then install into SketchUp using the SketchUp extension manager, just like you would any other extension. And once that is done, you should have this toolbar amongst your other plugins. Now this is my scene, which is ready to be furnished. So we are going to get some free high quality 3D models. Let's go over to cgtrader.com, which is one of the best 3D model marketplace for designers and professionals. And you have a wide variety of 3D models here, even better on their free collection. So let's search for a armchair and click on free to filter the free models. I think this one is going to work perfect for this scene with a different material of course. This is around 33 megabytes and it has the FBX format that I need. And also there's some additional information here and everything you need to know about the model. So make sure you always read the context of the 3D model that you're bringing in. So now that we're back into our SketchUp model, let's import our file. So hit this very first icon and look for the FBX file that you've saved and extracted somewhere on your computer. The different colors, of course, are placeholders for the different materials that you have in this model. So the simplify slider reduces the amount of faces on this model. Right now, it's at about 12% of its max and the model still looks pretty good. Now, if I slide this over to 100%, you can see the model at its highest level of detail, which is actually at around 154 faces. Now, this may be a lot for such a simple model of an armchair, especially if I'm not going to be getting some close up renders of this model. However, you have the option to optimize how much detail you want to bring in. As for the rest of the settings, you can rotate your model across different axes change the model units as well you have some viewing options but none of that is anything too advanced so let's go back to the simplify slider and let's see how we can save or reduce the file size by optimizing this one setting so we're going to save this at 100 and save this as armchair one So now we are going to save this a second time. So use the second icon to simplify this model again at 30%. And when you confirm, we're going to replace this new model into the scene. So now we're going to repeat the simplification one last time at 41% of the last model that we saved. So now we have armchairs one, two, and three. And if you take a look at our results, we went from 20 megabytes all the way to three megabytes while maintaining a reasonable amount of detail. So this by far alone is an extremely helpful tool. 
Next, we have the texture replacer, which helps to swap the textures of your model material. If you go to your skimp settings, make sure to have apply UV texture enable. So in case your textures are missing, skimp will keep the UV coordinates of your model. But in the meantime, you will get these material placeholders. Now with the tool selected, I can hold control and click on my texture to replace with a different material. Unfortunately, this texture is not very consistent in this model, but you can use an extension like through paint or sketch UV to help with this task. So I have sketch UV here. I will select my model and use box map to properly map the texture in the model. And now I'm just going to reduce the texture so that it looks a little more realistic. that our model is in the scene this looks pretty good i'm actually going to swap this material again so that it fits my color palette so that looks much better i'm going to reduce the saturation just so it's not too strong and at this point i'm actually going to match this material onto my other furnitures so i'll select the texture replacer this time i'm going to hold alt to sample this material and i'm going to directly apply on top of any other model in my scene this is also a very helpful tool and makes it extremely easy to just apply the same materials to different models. As for the settings, this is how I currently have mine set up. I've always stuck to the default and made a few adjustments here and there. So make sure to review this thoroughly so that you can optimize it in the best way possible to work for your models. Overall, Skimp is very easy to use and user friendly. It's very straight to the point and it doesn't overcomplicate things. And it just simplifies the process of getting 3D models from other 3D platforms inside of SketchUp. And if you're struggling with this in your workflow, I think Skimp is something you should definitely try. So what other extensions are you guys using to bring high quality models into SketchUp? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.